Hello guys, Wilson Box here, I hope you guys are having a great day. In this video, we are talking about Season 1 and Goblin Lair Stage 12, so stay there. Don't forget to subscribe. So we are here on Goblin Lair, and this Goblin Lair is a bit different from all the other seasons. This Season 1 was updated and now we have 12 stages. We had 9 stages when this game was released, so most of the guides I know it's just for 9 stages. So with this video, I pretend to do a guide and show you a comp that you can use to farm stage 12. I, th I really like this system with 12 stages, it gives you, I think it gives you more materials, it's not so random, so it's much better to farm. So I used two different comps because eventually I got the um, hero that I'm using now, so I'm using a different comp that I started with. And so let's have a look. So I was using a different one guys, so you guys can see Goblin. So I got Gulend, so Gulend is not a really good example for this. Uh, this is really a free to play uh, comp that I'm gonna show you, but I got Gulend and you don't need to use Gulend. So for this one uh, that I started using before, I used the Traveler as the ice element. And this is really nice because he got this, this passive, uh, this battle skill that will inflict speed penalty too. And of course, speed penalty too is it's like the worst debuff that you can get, but it uh, triggers the ultimate from Sigrid. Okay, so Sigrid will use this ultimate on every enemy that has uh, a debuff. So with this, if my Traveler will inflict this speed penalty, it means it will trigger this passive from Sigrid and she will attack everyone with the ultimate. Eventually they will die and she will recharge the ultimate faster, okay? Then I'm using this guy that you get for free, Charlotte, and I'm using Isitarian, I got him at the beginning as well. So basically this is the comp I was using to farm Goblin before. But now I got some new summons, okay? And uh, as you guys can see, I'm going for uh, Ice Necrosis because it's the best heroes I got. And now I got all these great heroes. So I have Isitarian. Um, and I have Charlotte, okay? You should have these ones. I mean, Isitarian, it's a bit random. Uh, you don't need to use Isitarian. Isitarian is here just to complete the five guys. If you want, you can use the tank or anyone else. So the really important guys here, it's especially Vidimir. Vidimir is a really important one. And of course, Usha will help a lot as well, but especially Rava. Rava is making a great job here, as you guys can see, Oh, I don't have any scrolls on Rava, but I have a lot of sc I have scrolls Vidimir. Okay, let's just load their gear first. And basically these two guys here are just doing damage, nothing else. But Vidimir, it's really, really good. It's a, a great character for Goblin Lair. It works a bit like um, Sigrid. So we recharge the ultimate faster with his passive. So basically if we look at this guy, it will bounce, this ultimate will bounce between five times. So it will be five goblins. We have five goblins, so this is perfect. And this ice ball is more likely to hit enemies with frost and will eventually explode. So this guy does a lot of damage. And then with the passive, when enemy afflicted with frost dies, he gains more attack percentage, more attack up, and recharges ultimate energy by 15%. So if you have someone like Rava applying a ultimate or a battle skill, whatever, with the frost debuff, it means our Vidimir will recharge the ultimate faster, so we'll be able to recharge and attack more times. Then I have Ucha just to help with this damage, to apply some frost uh, debuffs as well, and basically this is it. And I have also the attack hour from Isatarian, but you got the one from Vidimir that is exactly the same one, okay? You guys can see. I'm using the eyeball at this moment, and I'm using this one that's in Jiro on this guy, using the volcanic disc here, and this one that is the free one you get, and then I'm using the Witcher's Remain. I was lucky I got a dupe, so I was able to get Witcher's Remain, which is really nice and really cool. So if you don't have this one, you can use the crown or anything else that gives you accuracy. So I'm gonna just press the fight and you guys can see I'm using this on auto mode. All the gear I've been having, I have at the moment just been farming. I'm on day 17, okay? Day 17 and I'm doing Goblin Lair uh, 12. Okay, so let's have a look. 
at the fight and you guys are gonna see i have this all on auto mode and you guys can see how faster vidimir recharges the ultimate no one has frost now okay i have two guys with frost so it will make my vidimir to recharge his ultimate faster okay of course which is helping with the damage this guy as well and you guys are gonna see now so rav we will apply frost on everyone and he, you guys can see Vidimir recharging the ultimates as eventually one guy, uh, someone with first dies. Okay, I don't think this is the most effective one. If you use some timings, of course, uh, they will do this faster. I don't have any scrolls on Rav as well, so that doesn't help. But you guys can see everyone has frost now, so he's going to attack with his ultimate. And you guys see the damage is completely different. He's got his ultimate right <laughs> again. So it's really, really fast. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to invest some, if you have Rava or someone that can apply frost on everyone all the time, this guy Vidimir will have the ultimate all the time as well. Even if you have like two characters, instead of imagine if instead of using uh, uh, Isitarian or this other guy, uh, you can use another frost that the character that can apply frost and will work even better. Okay. I really like to use these necrotic guys because that's why I have these uh, summons taking all the damage from the goblins, so it's much easier. So I'm not doing a great time, but I mean, at this stage, I just want to do goblin lair 12, be the most effective uh, po as possible to farm more XP and eventually level up all the euros. So it took me 1 minute 30, it's not that bad. We got a lot of scrolls, a lot of tickets, uh, not scrolls, a lot of tickets that we can use to farm this twice so it's much better much faster as you guys can see i have 123 okay and this is just from the events you can't buy this with real money or anything so i've got a lot both as you guys can see so this is it this was my this is my team uh, you can use it as well i've you're probably gonna have this one these two you need to summon them you don't need you don't really need rava you can use a different one Let's have a look the characters I have, Frost ones. So you can really use these ones, okay? You can use this one like Durkuras, or you can use Voje, or this one Wilt. They, all of them, they have a chance to apply Frost and they will help you a lot to clear this faster. The key character here is really Vidimir, is the strong one and the one that is increasing and doing more damage and cleaning, clearing all of this faster. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you guys can do Goblin Lair Stage 12 faster and better this way. I hope this guy helps you. If you have any question um, regarding the heroes I'm using, what replacements you can use, just leave a comment below or just pop up or, and join my Discord. I'm happy to help you. So don't forget, leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.